On today's show, I've got Frogmans, I've got Mudmasters, I've got Collaboration Watches, and I want to show you a watch I kind of don't want you to bid for. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the G-Shop Watcher. I am Matthew Hardman and I will be your host over the next couple of minutes. Uh, as I said at the intro, uh, there's some cool watches I want to be able to show you. It is the weekend, so we've got some time to sit down and check things out. Last episode, I did talk about the modding. We were talking particularly about modding this particular watch, the G-Shock Portion Yellow. Uh, just to give you the update, I have now ordered the mod kit. I kept umming and ahhing about the mod kit for quite some time, uh, just to show you. This is where I ordered from the SK Mod website. And you know what? If you look at the site, I'm going to be in trouble with the wife. But this is the uh, the mod that I ordered. Don't worry too much about the face. I think they can't really show the Casio G-Shock logo there. But this mod, I've gone ahead and ordered a full black mod. So black bracelet, black case with black screws. Looks kind of cool. And I've also ordered a yellow band because my hope is that with the yellow band I can match that same yellow that we actually see in the caution yellow. I'm going to lose this case but obviously the internals I want to try and actually keep the way it is because I think it looks very very cool. So that's on the way. Uh, it does come with a awesome toolkit to be able to actually help you do all this work. Uh, I was looking at what these might look like and there was someone who did which I think is a caution yellow themselves on this particular watch. And it looks very, very cool. I think what they've done here is they've changed the, uh, the hour markers. So if we look at the one here, we've got black hour markers, but what they've actually done here is replace that with full yellow ones, which actually looks very cool. It might be something I'll need to, to order separately. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this watch modded. So I'm actually very, very excited about that. Now, moving on to some cool watches. I spent some part of the weekend, uh, and it is a long weekend here in Singapore, checking out some awesome watches, which I would love to be able to show these off to you. Um, at the very top of our list, and we won't be going through the $100 million G-Shop, it's still there. I'm not sure why they keep doing it. They're hoping. But the first watch is an unused Frogman. Now, We've seen many Frogmans before, but this particular model is one that I really, really love. And I think it's because I have a fondness for orange tinges, right? So there's highlights of the colors. The orange is very, very cool. Uh, if I go and show you what that actually looks like here, you can see the orange hand, the kind of goldy, very old orangey gold, but just that black, silver and orange look I think is a very cool look for this particular watch. Um, an unused watch, great price. This is actually going for right now $672. Now, in comparison, if we go look at what this price usually goes for, let me go jump over to our shock base and have a look. Uh, B. Oops, did I not copy it? Copy. This particular watch typically retails for, well, almost $2,000 SING, and the price right now is at about $672 SING, so just over a quarter of the price. And I've been looking at this particular watch, this would be a really good watch to be able to go ahead and actually pick up, but considering I just spent nearly $300 on a mod kit. I may be in a bit of strife on that one, but still a very, very cool purchase to be able to pick up a Frogman unused in that awesome looking watch. You know, tough solar, Bluetooth, multi-band six, all the features you want, uh, beautiful bracelet. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. Uh, one which I can honestly say I feel bad if I don't go ahead and actually order it because I could actually miss out on it, but uh, I do have a marriage to maintain and that's probably very, very important. The next set of watches 
which I thought was actually really interesting to have a look at. And I came across this on Reddit this morning. Uh, one of the Reddit, uh, I guess, contributors put up this particular watch. And what they actually have here is a GWG 1000 watch, a Mudmaster watch, but they've modded it. And I was trying to work out what it is they've actually gone and modded. So I was looking at the websites here and trying to check out some of the watches. And here's a similar GWG. So we've got the yellow band, the bumper bars, kind of tinging on yellow. So yellow and orange, I kind of like. But the difference between what they were doing, I think what they've modded here is actually the hands. So you can see the hand, there's a yellow second hand and then the hour and minute hand is a red. And so they've made that change there. So an interesting little bit of difference there between those uh, those watches. I can't really tell. Oh, maybe also the hours as well. So the hour bands have been changed a little bit. So that I think is a really nice modification. You can't go ahead and actually find it today, but that that watch itself, right? If we go have a look at what that watch actually costs and jump into this. This watch simply goes for $939. This one's currently $426, so it's under half price uh, with one day remaining, no bids. But it's actually a very, very nice watch. In fact, there's a number of nice Mudmasters that are going on right now. And there's one in particular, and this is the one I talked about in the intro that I really don't want to bid with anybody. Uh, it is a 40th anniversary Mudmaster, uh, the Flare Red. You can actually see this here. It's the Flare Red Mudmaster. This is a limited edition watch, a 40th anniversary G-Shock, which is very, very cool. Um, it's currently going for $128. Now, if we do a search on this particular watch and have a look at how much this normally costs, that flare red, Singapore pricing, $1,600 sing. And it's currently going for $128. You would be crazy not to bid for this watch. I am crazy going ahead and trying to bid this watch. Please don't give an automatic bid. Ah, oh, someone's automatically bidding on this thing. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and put in a bid for 15,500 yen. See what happens. Someone is obviously trying to pump up the price on this particular watch, but I'm going to go watch and see how far we can go with this particular watch. I'd probably be willing to spend up to $250 for a watch that is of this price. So, uh, interesting watch to be able to pick up on uh, from that one. So, yeah, that's uh, that's one which would love to go ahead and actually do, but we're not quite there in terms of, uh, of pricing yet. So, uh, let's go back. Go find, I get back to my watch list. It's a bit easy to navigate this site sometimes. So, yeah, Casio G Shock Mudmaster. Beautiful, beautiful watch that you could actually pick up on. Uh, the other watches here, which I think are really interesting, this one I haven't seen before. I'm sure, as you know, many of the watches that G Shock do are collaboration watches. And this is a G Shock ASICS collaboration. And what they have is the watch that goes with the uh, the motion sensor. You can actually see here, you've got the watch here and the motion sensor, and these two work with each other to give you a depth of analysis in terms of how you're running. Um, so what's interesting is that this watch, if we go back in time a little bit, so if I use G Central here, this was back in 2021. Okay, so this particular watch uh, came out to help you do fitness tracking and things like that. But I think you could almost argue that some of the new watches that are coming out with smart watches can also do these capabilities and more. So when I run, as much as I would love to say I run with a G-Shock, I actually run 
with an Oppo watch because I have a Oppo Find N3, which is the folding phone, and I wanted the watch with the capabilities to match that because sometimes you see the phones and the watches having some locked capabilities such as I think the Fitbit and the Google phone, uh, they have certain capabilities. This is a, a cool watch. Uh, it gives you a lot of scientific information such as how you're running and things like that. But these days, the Oppo watch, which I just purchased, that one actually tells you, are you running with the right balance? Are you running right with the right sort of pace, the gait, all those different things. So, you know, it probably was an interesting watch back in 2021, still looks kind of cool. I thought it was interesting that ASICS also has shoes to match with the watch and the sensor. So it was really a well thought through collaboration. It wasn't just whacking a brand name on a watch, but it was actually comparing the shoes, the coloring, the watch, the coloring, and the, the motion sensor. So very, very cool effort there from that company there. So that is the, uh, the G-Shock collaboration uh, watch. Last two, going from blue to blue. This one was interesting. This is a collaboration watch as well with Bamford. And Bamford is a watch designer in the US. And so they've got their branding on there. Um, they also have done the double layer for the watch here. Uh, it's an unopened collaboration watch. You know, it was interesting, collaborated with London, so Japan, London coming together. They're a watch designer, they do high luxury watches. This is what they were able to, uh, to come up with. Uh, so if I were to go across here and let's do our quick search on this one. So we'll copy that across and go check this out. See if we can actually find it, there we go. This is the collaboration watch, no Bluetooth, no solar, not necessarily exciting. Uh, but G-Central does talk about the collaboration watch. The price they had was for $160 US. Uh, the pricing here, where's US? Yep, $160. $239 Sing. If we go back to our bidding, it's at $261. That's got zero bids. This person is auctioning this watch at higher than what the, the watch is to actually buy. So. Interesting, but not something I'd go hunting for. Last watch, and we talked about this one once before, the wildlife watches. There's another Python watch which has come up. Uh, this is actually a cool watch. This one, I saw, I think I saw a version of this and I was like, nah, this is interesting, but I'm kind of thinking I'd like to have a look at this one. Right now, it's $52. That's fairly cheap. And this particular watch, this wildlife collaboration one, uh, it's not a slouch in the features department either. Uh, it has some pretty good capabilities. So if we jump down, it's got Bluetooth, it's got Tough Solar. Uh, it's a fairly unique collaboration watch from 2020. It's carbon core guard. So some very cool capabilities that this watch actually has. Um, so if you're interested, it's definitely one worth going ahead and having a look. They've got some nice sort of branding on the links as well. So very, very cool watch. Um, so two watches we might go ahead and actually have some bidding on. There was the uh, the watch, which was the uh, blazing red one, All right? So flare red, sorry, I should say. The flare red watch, we'll have to try and actually delve a little bit more into trying to get that up. Maybe we'll go far as 200, 250, let's see what happens. And then the other one will be that Python watch. That could be a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun as well. So some very very cool watches. Before I go, I wanted to give a shout out to a, uh, a company that is doing a lot of modifications on watches. Very very cool ones. Uh, a company called Curist. I think they actually take some of those SK Mod uh, modification kits and turn some beautiful watches. And you can see some of the great work that they've done taking some of the the GA twenty one hundreds or the GAB twenty one hundreds and putting those into some watches. I do have a particular fondness for this black on green watch. I think this is a, a very, very elegant and yet striking watch. I'm sure if Razer were to go ahead and actually partner with somebody, G-Shock, Razer and q they could actually build some very cool uh, collaboration watches with those dark colors and the green from, uh, from Razer. So very cool. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me to again on the G-Shock Watcher. I hope you've enjoyed this. 
Uh, I hope you're wearing your G-Shocks and I hope you enjoy showing them off. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.